Hi, I'm Seth with Land House. Over the past couple weeks, we've been trying different things in the ram pump pressure tank to see what the best fill material is. We've had a pool noodle, bicycle inner tube, tennis balls, and a water bottle. So far, the bicycle inner tube is the best, and that's what you'll find in all Land House ram pumps. In this video, we're gonna be trying out racket balls. I feel like these are actually gonna do pretty good. I know I said that with a water bottle, but I think these are gonna give a pretty good feedback in the pressure tank. Now, what is the purpose of this fill material? The pressure tank will actually become waterlogged over time. For instance, this water bottle has been in here for two weeks untouched, and has uh, the tank has become waterlogged. Let me show you. See how there's no air in the top of this tank? You can see the water bottle in there pulsing. The water should be somewhere around this point here, but it's not. So a fill material goes in there to give that air space. The tennis balls, which apparently are somewhere around 14 PSI, were crushed pretty quick. The inner tube lost some of its uh, stretchiness. I think it's because uh, the inner tube may have actually expanded, not sure. And uh, the pool noodle also was crushed. I don't know what the internal pressure is of a racquetball, but we're gonna see if that rigidity will provide much feedback here in the tank. Notice how the delivery pipe is open. This pump has been working in normal operation for about two weeks and has still become waterlogged. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the drive pipe here and close the delivery pipe. I'm gonna try and let the pressure out here at this valve right here. There we go. See the water bottle returns to its normal state there. I better clean these threads before I get this back on here. Okay, I'm gonna put all three of these racket balls in here just to see what happens. All right, first of all, I'm gonna keep the delivery pipe closed and close the pressure tank valve there. Let's come in close so we can see what's going on. Okay. It's kind of dirty. Let me see if I can drain out some of that silt. All right, that's better. I see his all... Okay, I'm glad these are floating better than the water bottle did. <laughs> so far, so good. That was fun. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so getting up close to 70 PSI definitely does affect those racket balls, which was expected. But what I wanna see is uh, how well they perform whenever the delivery is opened. So let's go ahead and open this real quick and see what happens. Let's see if they reverse here. The pressure now should be somewhere back down close to about 20 to 25 PSI. I feel like there may be some feedback from one of those 
valves there. Let's see if I can get up under here. It's hard to tell with the glare. Maybe so. I feel like it's bouncing better than the inner tube did. And you can really see that lower ball bouncing up and down. Maybe so. Okay, what I wanna try now is let's relieve that pressure. So stop that, open this back up. Pop, pop. Okay, pressure is pretty well relieved. So, let's start this back and see what happens here. Okay. I wanna see if, with the delivery pipe open this time, if the 20 to 25 PSI is enough to crush those again. Water is slowly moving up here. That right there is about where it stops typically. And the, I don't have my gauge on there, but it should still be somewhere around that 20 to 25 PSI. So it's not quite enough to overcome the pressure inside the ball and the rigidity of the ball to uh, make it pop again. But it was fun enough watching it. Let's watch it one more time. Still super impressed with this stainless steel valve. There it goes. That's fun. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and let this just run like I did with the water bottle and see how it does next week or so. I'm just gonna let it run under no normal conditions there. So the main reason you put a fill inside the pressure tank is because there's no snifter valve to replenish the air with each cycle. So you want some kind of air void there that's gonna allow some feedback whenever the uh, tank is being waterlogged. Um, and the racquetballs may have actually done a bit of good there. Um, so one of the things I would like to do is take all of these different fill materials and use the pressure gauge with them and also go up to the top and see if there is an output change based on bicycle inner tube or tennis balls and just see what we get. So that may be a better uh, display of what's happening here, but I have a feeling they're all gonna be pretty much right on the same level, uh, except for maybe the bicycle inner tube and perhaps these racquetballs. The others though, pretty uh, stagnant in their, uh, their fill material mess. <laughs> um, anyway, so the point of a ram pump is to take water from the creek and pump it uphill. This one is a one inch pump, takes water from about six and a half feet or so and pumps it close to 30 feet up my hill to some storage tanks. In case you're new to the channel and wondering what this is all about. Um, I also have four different sizes of ram pump for sale. 
at landahouse.com and on Amazon. Links in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'm gonna try and start moving away from this for a little while and get back into some practical ram pump videos for those of you who are continuing to watch this series. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.